So for the enclosure project, I'm going to first put a enclosure around this mini one. And for this, I figured out that the pieces um, have actually about eight pieces that are the same length, or six pieces that are the same length, which is nice. So Paul Dude 000 made the original brackets that um, you can tell are just pretty straight forward and you just pop in the PVC pipes. Now this is nice, but I want to put some sort of enclosure around it and some sort of board. So I was thinking of a couple things. So for this design, it's slotted, uh, six millimeter, millimeter slots. So I could put in standard foam board. This way, it's a very cheap way to put um, a complete wall enclosure without having to cut acrylic. And I also put holes through with this. Um, this way, if I want to run power cords uh, to lights or fans or anything else, I could do that as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to start with just this one corner piece, go from there. So the first thing I'm going to do is just press fit all the uh, PVC pipe together. Now a hint is if you need to, you could lightly sand the end off with like emery board or sandpaper to get your enclosure to the PVC pipe to fit. Because sometimes the PVC has little edges or whatever and sometimes the uh, print might be just a hair too small. So you could either do the uh, heat shrink and expand method that I have in the next clip or you could just sand it down a little bit. Okay, so I've got my pieces laid out and I'm gonna put the cut list and plans on my teacher paid teacher site. Uh, so just to get started, I'll put the um, first bracket right up here. Let's see, going vertical. And I'm gonna use the hammer from my uh, hammer project as well. So now that the two X pieces are in, I'm going to go ahead and put in the uh, Y pieces. Now watch the edges. Uh, with the PVC when you use a pipe, circle pipe cutter, you'll end up with, um, you'll end up with like a belled in. You just sort of see it here, how it's curved, and it might also flare out the outside. So again, I just use uh, emery board, which I get for free. And I just use that and sand off that bit. All right, so if you do this, always consider if your uh, printer has a separate power box or not. Now, on the main one, it's attached, and I was going off the base of the frame here, so I just made a mistake. Um, so I'm not going to be able to put a bar this way, but I'm still going to be able to build it on top. Um, this way, I can still get the coverage from the sides that I need, and I'll put a board going this way, um, but it's going to have to be cut up around the power box over here. Okay, so I'm going to focus on this side right now since it's nice and easy. Um, so with your foam board cut, the piece to fit the length of the pipe you cut. And so this is going to fit like this. You notice on the edges here it's going to have some overlap. Um, so you have a couple of options. You can either use the original blocks and slide them in like that or um, you just trim off this a little bit and you could get that to fit inside. 
And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the brackets that I'll provide the file link for and um, just bolt them on, two on each side. Okay, after a little trimming, um, I got it to fit snug in front of the back, in the back brackets here. And I'm going to use these uh, clips that I made. Now these are designed so that it'll fit flush, flat with the sides of the pipe. And that way it goes around like this and hold it in place and it'll go around all the the whole thing I'm just going to focus on this part right now so you're going to need a some sort of awl and your M3 nuts bolts and washers to clamp this all in together so I'm going to go ahead and get started on that and I you with clamps you have some flexibility so I'm going to put one here one in the back just hold it in place going vertically and maybe one on each end here. Um, I might, I'm going to design another set of clamps. Alright, so I've used some M3 nuts and bolts. Um, I believe these are M3 by 6 to uh, start clamping the sides on. So I gave, so with clamps they have enough flexibility that I could put them anywhere around. And I just need something to really hold the board in place, make sure it doesn't pop out. And you can see right now it does sit flush with the edge of the pipe. This just gives me a few more inches on the inside to work with. Um, you could trim the bottoms as well. Um, so you could use a box cut knife or a steak knife to do that. And one additional clamp I'm going to post is one that just wraps right around the front. Um, so what I'm going to do over here, um, I still need to print up a couple more corner brackets and I'm going to make a door here. So I'm probably just going to figure out a way to make something just drape over the top. Um, the idea is when I do trade shows, generally one or two backsides you want to keep uh, closed just so um, people don't stick their hands in it. Door, top, just gives you more to look through on the side. Now with a big thing like this, you could cut out a window and put in um, shower curtain or plastic wrap and make a window. Or you could work with these and make a frame of your own. Uh, again, the idea is just when I'm at, this is more for, this is my conference printer. So when I take it to conferences, um, keep some of the air inside so it doesn't uh, get messed up. But main thing is just safety to make sure kids and overeager engineers don't try and stick their hand through anything. Um, also it shows off some of the work because you can see the 3D printed corners and brackets. So I'm going to be posting these files on Thingiverse. Keep an eye out for that.